Hi everyone, my name is Kamal Krishna and today I will show you how to convert or reshape your wide panel data to long panel data format. In wide panel data format, you have one row per entity and the variables you have, you have each, you have column for each variable for each time point. Okay. So in wide panel data, data is arranged like this. You have firms per row. Okay. You have one firm per row and the variables are arranged by each time point. And in the long panel format, you have one row for each time point, one row per entity for each time point. Okay. So I'm going to use this data set from ProS database. ProS database is used for research on Indian firms. It is a very good database and it provides almost all the financial and governance related variables. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, now, first of all, delete these two rows. You do not need these two rows. Okay. Uh, first keep the original data as it is and create its copy to perform further analysis. Now name this copied file as analysis one. Now delete these two rows. Okay. So now uh, come to this cell. This is the first name, first firm name. Select this cell, press right click, click insert, go to this option entire row. Now come to this cell, press equal to select this cell and join the cell below it. This select the cell below the year. Now we have this combined variable and this represents return on capital employed for the year 2014. Now come to this, uh, come to this uh, corner of the cell and hold it, hold it and drag to the entire row. Now look at this column, column U. You have this variable PAT as percentage of net worth for the year 2018. PAT is profit after tax. Okay. And now once again, select this entire row, press control plus C and Go to this beginning of the cell and press right click and paste values. Select this option paste values. So you are no longer dependent upon the rows above them. Now you can delete these two rows also. You do not require them for further analysis. So we have first column as firm's name, containing firm's name. And the subsequent columns represent the variables for each time point. So in total, we have four variables and we have five years from 2014 to 2018. Now go to this option data, go to from table range. This option will convert the data set into table and we can perform further analysis in power query. Now select this column, the column containing firms, press right click. Go to this option, unpivot other columns. Now we have to split this column into two separate col columns. One column will contain the years and the other column will contain the variable names. Now go to this option, split column in the transform section and go to this option by non digit by digit to non digit. We can, we can rename this column as year. And we can rename this column as variables. And we can go to now uh, the we can go to now close and load. Now we have this sheet and we can rename it as analysis two because this is the second part of our analysis and almost half of the work is done and now we do not need this query so we can delete it if you want okay so let me delete it we do not need it further so now uh, we can see the firm name 361 mm limited for the year 2014 the variable is written on capital employed and the value is 38.62 now the task is to bring these variables from the vertical format into horizontal format so what we can do, we have these four variables, select this four variables, 
press control plus c come to this cell press right click and go to this option transpose okay now what we can do to bring these values here we can use the option x lookup press press uh, in the cell x lookup type x lookup and the lookup value first lookup value is firms okay now first let's convert the data from table to range it will be easier to work with the it will be easier to work with formulas on the range data so go to this option table design go to this convert to range. okay so now we have the data in the raw format now come to this cell press equal to type x lookup our first lookup value is firm and press f4 and fix this row okay press f4 and fix this row so now this a row is fixed and then type ampersand option and select this option here option also now press f4 three times and sell and fix this b row sorry b column and then we have to look one other one more value which is this value and let's fix it by pressing f4 okay so this cell is permanently fixed and the firm column and year column is fixed now we have to look these values in the relevant lookup arrays so for this first value a2 the relevant column is this whole column from a2 to a616615 and now fix this array now press again ampersand for the year value you have to look into b2 to b6615 press f4 to fix this array and now for this third variable the variable of interest we have to fix this c2 to c6615 and press this press f4 to fix this array and the return array is our value array d2 column d6615 and also fix this array now close the bracket and press enter now uh, select this value and drag this value to the whole column similarly you can copy this formula to other columns and only one small change you have to do you have to see this the variable of interest in the earlier column we had selected e1 so now in this case we have to select f1 and it will give you the appropriate value similarly come here and change this value from e to g and here from e to h and then copy copy this formula to the entire column okay so you can see it for yourself uh, for the firm 360 1mm limited for the year 2014 and the variable written on capital employed the value is here 38.62 and it is also giving you here the relevant value okay and it has been done for all the rows for all the firms and for all the years and for all the variables but you have to perform one last step now what you have to do you have to delete these columns c and d but don't do it directly because the other columns e f g h are dependent upon the values of this variables this columns so once again go to power query for power query go to data go to table range so now we have see now what we can do 
we can select any one variable we can select any one variable of your choice to filter this to filter this whole data set because it has created many duplicate values okay so now go, come to this option variables and select any variable you want this select return on total assets press ok and you do not require this column now value so you can delete it if you want you should delete it and now you also do not need this column return on total assets you do not need so you can also remove this column so now we can go to this option close and load enter close and load so this is our final table final analysis table now <clears throat> you can delete this query if you want we do not need it further so now we have transformed the data set from wide panel data to long panel data here and you can verify it by comparing the values let's suppose take a company randomly let's suppose take asian paints and for the year 2014 return on capital employed is 34.97 asian paints year 2014 34.97 okay so this is done if you have any further queries you can type it in the comment section i will try my best to resolve all your problems and queries okay so thank you subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and also you can connect with me on different social media platforms i have given this link in the description box so yeah keep in touch with me